What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D, and you're watching Fina Entertainment Unfiltered. Filter. On November 29th at 11:23 a.m. Eastern Time, Taylor posted an alpha male culture. But on the same day, just later on in the evening, Indy posted something similar. And she's talking about female masculine energy. Women is on the screen and put me on pause and read it. You know, talking about, you know, a woman being fully capable of standing on her own. It is the awakened man who must realize that even though she can stand alone, she shouldn't have to. Her strength inspires him to rise into his power and stand beside his queen. You know, the awakened woman strengthens her inner masculine, not because she is supposed to carry the burden alone. She strengthens her inner masculine so she can, you know, so regardless of the fact that this is a simple reason repost this longer it's a similar message okay posted the same day so then this person responded can you get your own tuts this is not a coincidence that taylor posts something on this subject earlier and here you go taking back him she is authentic you are bad knock off now stop it indy responded omg laughing i had no idea guys my friend posted this and i decided to share here since I haven't opened Twitter lately, laughing face emoji, if Taylor posted something similar before, that's called coincidence and probably why we have the same mindset, lots of love. Now, this is not the first time Indy's been called out on this same situation. This is her first time actually addressing it head on, okay? So it looked like that tweet bothered her the entire day because the next day she tweeted, so let me get this right. People are expecting me to check what everyone else is posting. Down emoji before I do, question mark. I'm a spiritual warrior, feminist, sex and relationship coach, tantra practitioner. All of that to say that I don't have to do anything I do if I want to. So another person responded, what the are you talking about, Indy? This feels like you are manufacturing yourself as a victim, so you have a reason to tweet, sell yourself as strong. Hashtag BB24. Indy responded, I think you may be in the wrong page, or she meant on the wrong page. No victim here, honey. Don't project yourself on me. I'm strong as bleep. Okay, so no one is saying, well, let me speak for myself, <laughs> but no one is saying just because other people are posting something, mainly Taylor and Joseph or Taylor, everyone else should just stop. Oh, Jayla posted, don't post today. Mm -mm. It's all about them. No one is saying that. They are simply saying that they notice a pattern. And because of that, only because of this, I'm going to show you all some of those patterns because you already know I come with receipts. That's the only reason why people are coming for Indy. But is it that deep for me? Absolutely not. I even stopped talking about Indy and posting about Indy because to me, I'm like, if Taylor and Joseph are her friends, they are cool with her. That's all that matters. But this is social media and although it's not fair, this is the tiny price you pay for going on reality TV people will always have their opinions and it's up to you to clap back whenever you feel like it or to ignore it and continue to live your peaceful life but this was still bothering indy so she did come back with one last tweet when people try to make you feel bad but you don't give a indy tweeted this is how i survived pre or during or post season i mean you do care a little bit because here we are a few days later you're still tweeting about it which is okay we are all human beings and it's okay to admit when things bother us okay now let's get into these receipts most of you are aware that taylor hill did an interview a few weeks ago with reality steve where she revealed that she was sexually harassed by the former vice president of miss usa now the same day the interview was released Indy went on Instagram Live to tell her story of things that made her uncomfortable in the Big Brother house with people that she once considered friends and she was close with and all of that. One of them being Terrence. Yes, a short clip of Indy and Terrence laughing, having a great time. 
as they were discussing Taylor in a not so pleasant way, but I'm just going to play the part where she and Terrence had their interaction. Okay. And if she's just someone that we cannot trust, that's it. It's karma, baby. Karma comes wherever goes around comes around. A S A P. It's called karma. It's pronounced ha ha ha. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Andy. You want to record this? <laughs> <She said>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The A. The A. The A. Hell yeah. Taylor even joked about that moment on Twitter. It's called Taylor's Karma, and it's pronounced ha 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 to paraphrase my girl Indy. Most of you have seen the longer video. If you've missed all of the behind the scenes and longer live feed videos, please click the Jailer playlist and you will see all of the behind the scenes videos that I've posted, okay? Just because you're laughing with someone, having a great time with them, and once had a friendship with someone, doesn't mean that person cannot turn around and harm you or make you uncomfortable. Same thing with Taylor's story, okay? She respected this man. He was the vice president, so she didn't think anything of it, and then he crossed that line. So when Indy hopped on Instagram Live the same day Taylor interview and story was released, Taylor Grace was acknowledged when she hopped on Indy Instagram Live to validate her point because most people were like, this is the woman who was laughing and, you know, fist bumping with the men and all of that and talking about you and dragging you on the show. And then now she's complaining about that same man the same day your story came out to somehow, you know, attach herself to your story and you are the only one on Instagram Live with her to uplift her and give her some form of validation. And Taylor got some applause for that. And here I go breaking things down that I've already <laughs> broken down. If you go to the Jailer playlist and watch those videos, those detailed videos. The whole point of this video is to say, Taylor did this. Indy did this. Taylor and Joseph did this and Indy posted this just to show receipts and examples of the reason why people are coming for Indy. So I'm going to save my whole breakdown and detail and all of that and just get straight to the point going forward. That conversation and situation was very sensitive so I just didn't want to gloss over it and that's the reason why I repeated some of the things I've already said in those detailed videos but going forward let's get to the receipts and get to the point and end the video. Okay, so let's keep up with each other. <laughs> Taylor posted about the whole alpha male situation. Indy posted. Taylor interview comes out about being sexually harassed. Indy hops on Instagram Live, okay? Now let's take it all the way back at the beginning. Taylor and Joseph starts joking about always being on each other's shoulder. Here's an excerpt of a video I did. Now let's get into what happened on Twitter. If you've been paying attention to Taylor and Joseph pictures, you will notice that majority of their poses, they're either on each other's shoulder or looking over each other's shoulder. So it's this thing they have going on where Taylor tweeted about it. He loves him some shoulder action. And then he posted this picture from Snapchat and he wrote, excuse my cold shoulder because Taylor wasn't on his shoulder. Okay. Innocent, no big deal. More shoulder action images. Okay. Now, nobody owns Taylor or Joseph. If their friends wants to take pictures, have fun with them, do your thing. So when Indy decided to post this video and she captioned it on the left shoulder, ha ha ha, BFF, hashtag jailer. Indy was saying, look, don't come for me. This is my friend. I'm on the left. Okay. This is a friendly. Regardless of the reason, the point <laughs> of this segment of the video is to point out that the people coming for you are not delusional they are simply just pointing out can they have a moment whenever they do something here you come and this is another clear example of taylor talking about being on joseph's shoulder and then here Indy comes posting a picture referencing shoulder do i care no but do i come with receipts yes so let's continue 
<laughs> oh, and before I move on, y'all know Indy is always using the filters. Do your thing. She's having fun with it. So, Joseph, if you're thinking why he looks so different, she had one of her filters on. So, when Joseph came in a shot, that's the filter on Joseph's face. I might miss some moments because if I list every single detail, we would be here for over an hour. So, I'm just going to go to the other examples that were somewhat major. So, just in case you're thinking, oh, you missed this moment. I really didn't. I'm just jumping through the ones that I feel like are more relevant than the other ones. And then most of you remember this video right here when she reunited with Joseph after a few days apart this was before they went to canada for their hosting gig and joseph came the day before and then indy also posted this that same day so people just felt like he was in la the day before with you indy you posted him all day now his girlfriend is posting him after not seeing him for a few days and here you go posting another video with him i did a long video on everything that happened with indy and joseph and social media and all of that if you missed it go to the jailer playlist and watch it i'm trying to move on so that's why i'm not going in details but for those of you who know you know what happened that day when she did that okay moving on to halloween taylor and joseph once again broke the internet like this outfit right here their outfit these outfits okay y'all know what happened on halloween of course indy posted another video with joseph around that time indy posted a video in the red outfit with happy halloween that's her caption this is important because i just want to prove that it was the same day after taylor and joseph posted their costume now not the red outfit she posted a red outfit earlier because it was just her in it but later on that evening after taylor and joseph posted their halloween costume indy posted this video with joseph in it with the sage and i am super mystic and to be able to be part of my life you need to clean your energy and this is the first time that joseph <laughs> <laughs> come over. Get your toilet. Okay, leave your mom. Get your toilet. No, come over. It's gonna help you. It's for blessing. I'm gonna bless you. I feel like I'm on Survivor. Close your eyes. <coughs> <laughs> what? Joseph! What? what? There's literally amber is falling out of this. Oh my god. Of course it is because it's gonna like to burn on the bad stuff you need to believe oh. i'm just doing so much that i can do she almost took my eyebrows out <laughs> okay for real open okay. your arms like this take a deep breath and imagine like all oh, the bad energy getting out of your body because we are all attracting a lot of attention right now a lot of energy and it's time to let it go Now, the side-by-side -side and the happy Halloween is very important because then that just tell you that what I'm saying is the truth. Because if your happy Halloween video is before the video with Joseph, that means you posted it around Halloween the same night. It's still on her page. Now, what made people upset about this post? If you pay attention to Joseph's outfit, He's wearing the same outfit he had on before they even went to Canada. So people felt like, okay, so you held on to this old video before they even went to Canada. Their Canada trip is over. They were in LA. They went to other places and now they are on a cruise together. And of all of the nights that you could have posted a video with Joseph wearing what you're wearing, which I don't care what she's wearing, but I'm just reading the comments to you. I'm going to get to some of them and put it on the screen so you can see that I'm not making any of this up. But you chose the night. You chose the night where this woman just posted 
with her man in their Halloween outfit. Of all of the nights you could have posted this old video you've been holding on to, you chose to post it right after she posted with this scene, man. So let's get to some of the comments. You are obsessed with him. Go find your own tour. I agree. I think she needs to stop because he's with Taylor. Indy, go find your own man. You are very pretty. You see, I mean, at least, you know, they're throwing some compliments in there. She is so jealous of Taylor, just like she was on the show. Now, I normally do social media reaction where I read comments upon comments and I mean reactions and all of that. But this is about showing side by side. So let me stay focused because once I get distracted and start reading, we will be here all night. So let me stay focused. Okay. So I'm moving forward all the way to the end because I have to get this video up tonight and it's getting late. Okay. So Taylor and Joseph article came out that, oh, Taylor and Joseph are official. Congratulations. Yay. All of that. Okay. Then Indy went and posted after the article came out this video right here with Joseph on her page. Now I understand that Indy wanted to show the side by side that, okay, somebody else did it. So she was just copying them and doing the same thing with Joseph, you know, wanting him to speak her language and all of that. But Indy posted this same video in her Instagram story a few days before the article came out. So if most of your supporters saw the video already and all you wanted to do was to show the side by side, you couldn't pick a different day. You had to post right after the article came out that they were official. So Indy, that's all they're saying. They're not talking about your personal post that you post every day. They're talking about whenever Taylor and Joseph have a big moment. Here you come. One or two times, okay, coincidence. But based on everything I have put up, that's just too many to be like, oh, okay, it's a coincidence. I will absolutely be playing a clip for those of you who missed it, okay? But Indy is basically saying, yes, I get it. I said you need to stop talking to Taylor. You need to stop it. I hate seeing you guys with her. I hate it. And she liked Joseph. She knows all of the things that she said in the house and did. She's apologized publicly and privately. Taylor is her friend. Joseph is her best friend, according to her. And she's just hoping that people will move on. So she tweeted. Can we please get over BB24 laughing again? We have a life before and after the show. I'm so grateful for the experiences and I'm focused on the next one. Stay tuned, but meanwhile, be kind. You gain attention, but lost respect. That didn't last long because Indy got dragged all day today. You might get this video tomorrow, but yeah. So that's the part two that's coming. She's been arguing all day on Twitter. She's been going back and forth all day on Twitter because you think grabbing Joseph's face in this picture and gazing his eyes and being around him dressed a certain way, had people going the last time. Oh yeah, she did something again that, yeah, it's a hot mess. And so I'm going to get into that later on tomorrow. I should say today because you might get this video after 12 a.m. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Because she's playing like a super. Oh, 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 my ass. Baby, I never, I never exclude her for anything. I'm the yeah. person that wakes her up, go ask her to come work out. I'm not, I'm not like that. Yeah. But I never be like BFF. Mm -hmm. You just stop talking to me. You just stop it. Baby, I hate seeing you guys with her. I hate it. Every single time that I see it, I hate it. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.